Welcome to the Port of Galveston. Parking's 25 bucks a day plus tax. I'll put the website in the description below. Since my six-year-old grandson was on this cruise, we decided to go up to the sports deck and try out the putt-putt course. It was great. We had a blast, and he had a hole-in-one. We even got to see some dolphins and didn't even have to pay for that excursion. The Port of Galveston and the area around Houston has tons of shipping. They were stretched out for miles. I even got to see my first offshore oil rig. Pretty cool. The Voyage of the Seas is a beautiful ship, like all Royal Caribbean ships. It has an amazing view of the atrium, down on the promenade deck inside, where there's all kinds of entertainment there happening all the time. If you want to catch the parade, you need to get there early. Same goes for the discos that they have. It's fun. This is where you'll also find the silent disco. Always a blast. I even found some ducks, which I gave to my daughter to hide from my grandson. It was fun. Deck 5 is where the Star Lounge is. They have the tier party there and lots of entertainment too. Stage the master of the vessel, Captain Ole Johan. Howdy. We don't smoke marijuana in Smokey. Little brother 1020. Little brother 1020. Little brother 1020. At the entrance of the Star Lounge, you'll see the Crown Lounge. That's where they have some great espresso, some snacks, and water. Back to Deck 5. I love that ship model that shows you where you're at at all times. That phone booth has an ATM machine. And that beautiful car that says, please don't climb on it, is just bait for kids to want to climb on. And that's right next door to the Promenade Cafe where you can get pizza. There's no Serrano's on this ship. And Ben and Jerry's ice cream that you have to pay for. But you can also get free coffee. There's also the beautiful English style Pig and Whistle Pub. Texas limits the number of bars open on the ship until 12 miles out to sea. As you continue walking down the promenade, you'll pass the stairway for the casino that's downstairs on the fourth deck. You'll see all the regular shops that you normally see, including the duty free. There's a lot of promenade view cabins up here. Just past all the shops, you'll find guest services on the left and the R bar on the right. That's where the single solo meetup was supposed to be, but I don't think there were many single solo people on the cruise. There's also the entrance to the top floor of the main dining room. We'll get back to that later. On deck four, you'll find the tavern bar. Empty now, but when there's hockey and basketball and baseball playing, it gets pretty busy. It's a nice little tavern. You also got the boom desk, the art gallery, and the casino. Watch out, it says caution before entering the casino. There's not a lot of slot machines, despite what it looks like when you walk in. The mirrors uh, really make it seem like there's a lot more. The casino bar is amazing, and the bartenders are the best. There's only one crap table on the ship, and at the beginning of the cruise, they'll give you lessons. You'll find the Club Royale host right next to the casino cage, and you can scan your phone and come up with all the points you need for a certain cruise. The schooner bar is a lot of fun. I had a great time there. <laughs> I've seen a lot of things in my bar. I ain't never seen blow up horses in here. <laughs> For 24 years, I've been living next door to Alice. Alice! I'm not talking about what's new, Pussycat. Just a friendly little cat. Both hands going, <laughs> oh, you better hold with this spot right here before it towards you, all right? Roughly 25% of it. And just across from the schooner bar is Giovanni's Specialty Dining. My daughter and son-in-law said it was fantastic. I saw a lot of great shows in the Royal Theater. Lots of talent and love the love and marriage game. <laughs> Here on board. My name is Kat, that is Kat with a K. The noise, everybody, the cruise director, Kat, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Some of you went with the pineapples. Good luck, good luck with that. <laughs> I 
We hooked up in college. You hooked up in college? <laughs> All over the college grounds. <laughs> I love taking my grandson to Studio B where they had the professional skating going on. And then they opened up the ice for public skating. <laughs> See what I did there? It's so lovely when it's sunny. <laughs> Please, please wash your hands, everybody. I hear so many people say they just wash them in the bathroom. Doesn't take much. Even hand sanitizer works. The Windjammer had a lot of great food. And although it was busy a lot of times, there were several times I was able to find a table actually against the window. Although I didn't get to the Giovanni's on this trip, me and the family did go to Chop's Grill for lunch. It was absolutely fantastic. I had the filet mignon medium rare and it was great. I think the main dining room is absolutely beautiful. It's scattered across decks three, four, and five, and the first level on deck three is pretty much for people that have my time dining. I loved it. I had to be very careful with the desserts though. They were great. So I figured it was time to head up to the gym and get a workout in. Beautiful gym. Lots of treadmills, and elliptical machines, some free weights, and a great view outside. It's on deck 12, the same deck that has the outdoor running track. It's a short one, but it works. Up on deck 14 is the Viking Crown Lounge. That's a beautiful area with beautiful views during the day and even at night. They'll have a lot of events up there. It's also where the Sweet Lounge is located. And the Izumi Restaurant is here also. The outdoor movie theater is awesome. They do movies here day and night. Before I got to my cabin on deck 7, I got to go through the library. They have a lot of cool games and books there. Be sure to check out my video on the cabin tour for cabin 7286. When I first checked in, I was a little surprised to see the bed split, but that was quickly fixed with the use of a QR code that I'll show you how to use in the video. And like all my videos, I hope you smash the like button and hit subscribe. It really helps out. Thank you. Like ship spotting? Try cruisemapper.com. Ahoy, come. I just love watching storms at sea. I also enjoy watching the pilot boats come up to the ship, drop off the pilot, and then guide us into the harbor. One of my favorite places to go on any ship is up to the bow. And although I enjoyed my time on Virgin Voyages cruise ships, you couldn't do that there. It's probably the only place on the ship that you really feel like you're on the sea, except back at the stern. Never saw an oil rig on a ship before. Oh, this is a great cruise. Got to stop in Costa Maya, Mexico, Roatan, Honduras, where I took a walk where I sh probably shouldn't have because the State Department has a don't go alert out. And then on to Cozumel, which is always a lot of fun. Pulling back into Galveston, had a nice moon, and then a lot of bags. I was carrying mine off. And then a $35 trip back to Hobby Airport was nice. Got to see some cool mansions in Galveston. The only airport lounge I could find in Hobby is the USO. Thank you, USO. If you're eligible, be sure to check it out and leave a donation. See you next time.